Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, friends of Japanese prints, for another edition of our video productions. I'm Dieter, Dieter Manchura, and I'm the owner of the Ortolino Company, and we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. And today I want to present uh, six selected prints from our current auction. Uh, it's the auction number 1670, mm. and the artists uh, who produce these masterpieces. Yeah, today I want to present real Shin Hanga masterpieces. They are Goyo Hashiguchi, um, Lillian May Miller, Paul Jacole, Ito Takahashi, also called Shote, mm. Kozo Nohara, the master of birds and flowers. And last but not least, Hazui Kawaza, the great landscape master. But before we continue, I want to say a hello to uh, my wonderful assistants, Sophie and Lucas, behind the camera. Give a clapping hand to Sophie and Lucas. Well, the first masterpiece that I want to present in this video is also the most expensive one, and it's really, it's, it's a highlight. It's an original Goyo Hashiguchi. Goyo Hashiguchi, born as the son of a samurai in 1880, and he unfortunately died very young at the age of 41 in 1921. Uh, being the son of a samurai was not very helpful uh, for his career because in 1880 the privileges for samurai had already been abolished. And in the beginning, um, Goyo Hashiguchi had a little bit of a tough time. Uh, the first woodblock prints that he made were actually reproductions, working for a um, reproduction company. Uh, during his lifetime, he created only 15 um, Shin Hanga prints, only 15. The first one was published by the famous publisher Watanabe Shotsaburo from Tokyo, and the others were um, published, self-published by the artist in a kind of a subscription scheme. And uh, these 15, they are among the finest and most expensive Shin Hanga that you can find in the market. I should better say that you sometimes find in the market because they are rare. Yeah? The title of this one is Woman Holding a Hand Towel. And um, my friends, it's a posthumous printing. That means it was printed after the death of the artist, but it's an original, an original from the original blocks. Um, and it was printed before World War II. Please always pay attention to our descriptions. Well, I don't want to present these now here in, date, in detail, otherwise the video would last one hour, and that is not so good. Uh, I told you before, most expensive artist, Shinanga artist, that you can imagine, and this one has a reserve of 5,500, and it already has a bid, my friends. So you have to count a bit if you want to get it. Masterpiece number two is by Lillian May Miller. Born in 1895 and she died in 1943. She was born and raised in Japan to a US state diplomat. Let me show that wonderful print. The title is Hong Kong junk, the junk, the boat, I mean, it's visible, yeah. Um, the print is dated 1928, that means it was published in 1928 for the first time. And Lillian May Miller, a, a rare artist, uh, she coughed and printed herself. She learned that in, in Japan, her prints are pretty, pretty rare. Ottolino was founded in 2001, so by now we are nearly 20 years old, and I hardly remember any Lillian May Miller uh, prints in our auction. So if you are a fan of exclusive Shinanga, take the chance. The reserve is US dollar 1000. Masterpiece number three 
Masterpiece number three of our current Shin Hanga auction is by the crazy French Japanese artist Paul Jacolet. Paul Jacolet uh, was born in, in Paris in 1902, but when he was only a few years old, his mother moved to Tokyo, where she married, uh, I think, a professor, but I'm not quite sure anymore. So not so important. He uh, remained in Japan during his whole life. Also during World War II, he did not return to Europe and he died in 1960. The title um, of this print is Jeune Fille de Jalouis in French and in English, Young Girl of Jalouis Marshall Islands. Paul Jacolet always kept the titles of his prints both in French and in English. He was, by the way, fluent in Japanese, in English, and in, in French. Very educated, elegant um, man. And, well, this design by Paul Jacolet is rather rare. It's hand-signed and it's a limited edition. Uh, you find the signature here, uh, lower corner, inside the, the image. Well, their title um, in in, in French and where is, it, where is it in English? Well, probably here only in French, but usually always English and French titled. And uh, yeah, limited edition, it's number six out of 150. Where do you find that here? Oh, <laughs> always on the verse or on the backside for Paul Jacolet um, prints. And um, this design was published by him in 1939 and it has a reserve of only $950, my friends. The next masterpiece is by Ito Takahashi, also called Shotei. Mm. Shotei was born in 1894 and he died in 1982. Um, this is a, a rare print, looks like a, a landscape print, but it has also a certain historic meaning. I'm going to explain. Well, first of all, Rhea. Rhea. Um, I told you before, Artelino was uh, founded in 2001. So we are now nearly 20 years old and we never had that design before. So if you don't take it now, do you want to wait for another 20 years? Uh -huh. By then I will be <laughs> on early retirement, my friends. So take this chance now. But back to the print, uh, published first time in 1926, and publisher was Watanabe Shotsaburo, famous Shinhanga mentor and publisher. And there's something, and now listen, you guys in the US, it's interesting for you. Yeah, um, this shows the location where Comil Commander Commodore Matthew C. Perry landed in 1853. That was the first time. And then again, one year later in 1854 with his famous black ships. Well, what was it? Yeah. Until then, you must know, Japan was a completely isolated country, a medieval country. No foreigner was allowed to enter Japan. Also, no Japanese was allowed to leave Japan. It was just a small trade post with the, with the Dutch um, since 1600 and, 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 and something. And um, the task of Commander Matthew C. Perry was to force Japan to open its country for commerce with the US and later also with other Western countries. And he arrived with um, steel ships, yeah, the Japanese were frightened, they had never seen that, that before. And of course he forced them, he bullied them. And in 1854, uh, the Treaty of Shimoda, and that is the Bay of Shimoda, and that probably shows these, a few of these black ships. Uh, the Treaty of Shimoda was signed. Reserve, um, take your chance, yeah, don't leave that one out. Don't be crazy. Reserve is 900 US dollars, my friend. The number five of our Shinhanga masterpieces 
is by Kozon O'Hara. Sometimes you find him also under the name of Shozon O'Hara. Born 1877 and he died in 1945. And he's the master of birds and, and, and flowers. Well, in that case of only one, well, let me count. Oh yeah, of only one bird, but a lot of black-winged magpies and magnolias, my friends. Um, it was published in 1931, also by Watanabe. Uh, also, I haven't seen this design before, actually. So, um, when I haven't seen something for 20 to 30 years, you can assume that it's rare. And the reserve is also affordable for limited budgets, US $600. And it's a masterpiece, my friend. The last masterpiece for today is by the great landscape uh, printmaker, artist, Hazui Kawase. Among Shinango um, prints, he's probably the most popular artist. And this design, I shall show it now to you in real. This is among um, the more popular ones by Hazui. Uh, the title is Mount Fuji after snow and it shows Mount Fuji seen from Tagonura um, beach and um, well, take, take a look at, at that, yeah? After snow, so it stopped snowing, maybe it's already springtime, some late snowfall when the snow hangs in the tree rather heavy and when you look at that, yeah, you have the, the impression this is heavy let's say early springtime uh, snow and now imagine I mean how to create this this impression I mean this picture is created by carving into bl wooden blocks and you have to carve a block for each color look how many colors this this print has but back now um, to this design um, was first published in 1932 and this one is not by Watanabe, but by Doi, uh, another publisher in Tokyo, Doi Hangaten. Mm. And it's a, a later printing, we guess, that it was printed around the 1940s until early 1950s, and it's printed on Doi watermark paper. The original reserve, uh, 500, but it already has a bunch of bits, and the current, um, uh, the latest bid now stands on $850 one day before the auction end, my friends. My friends, you've seen six wonderful masterpieces from our current Shin Hanger auction. It's our Artelino auction, 1670. And today, Saturday, and this auction will end tomorrow, Sunday, March 7 of 2021 at 8 p.m. Our auctions always end on the Sunday at 8 p.m. our local time, which is Central European time. We are located in southern Bavaria in a beautiful rural area near the Bavarian Alps. And we are six hours ahead of U.S. East Coast, so that is nine hours ahead of U.S. West. We'd be pleased to see you in our auctions, and of course, I would be always pleased to see you in our next videos. And immediately after this video, I'm going to prepare the next one with my wonderful team, Sophie and Lucas. Goodbye, and take care of yourself.